a few of those. Oh, yeah. And one of these. An eagle? Rock and roll? Oh, yes. Dad loves bird watching. You built that special place for bird watching, didn't you, Bob? That's right, Muck. A blind. Bobby and I are spending the day out there. I can't wait. Are there any special birds in Sunflower Valley, Bob's dad? Once, the Lesser Striped Sunflower Warbler was seen here. Oh! I'll bet you'll be excited if you see one of those. Oh, yes, Muck. But mostly, I'm looking forward to spending the day with Bobby. I just have three quick little jobs to do first. Wonderful. I'll be turning this off, too. A nice, quiet day in the country with no interruptions. See you soon, son. So, come on, Scoop. We'll be done in no time. Oh, hello, Bob. Scoop. Hello, Farmer Pickles. So what's this job? Well, it should only take a minute. A shelf's fallen down in Spud's room. Hi, Bob. I, I hope this won't be too much trouble. I don't think putting up a shelf should take me too long, Spud. Really? It took ages when I tried. And then it fell off. Oh, Spud! Spud. Uh, I kept all the bits, so I'll leave you to it. <laughs> don't want to be in your way. This is going to take ages. That looks great, Bob. Sorry it was a bigger job than you were expecting. That's okay, Farmer Pickles. Poor Dad. I promised him I wouldn't be long. Oh, yes. This is the life. Oh, hello there. Now, what do I have for you? How about a nice hazelnut, Mr. Bushy Tail? Ah, and you want some lunch too, do you? Uh, one for you, Flopsy, and one for Mopsy. Ha, <laughs> my goodness, news travels fast around here, doesn't it? <laughs> Hold on. There you go. Half an apple for Spikey, and another for, uh, Mikey. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Bentley. Sorry we're late. Oh, not to worry, Bob. It's only a tiny job. <laughs> My kitchen window's sticking a little. Okay, Mrs. Bentley. You try to open the window from inside while I give it a try out here. Oh, okay, Bob. That's strange. It really is stuck. Are you still trying to open it up from in there, Mrs. Bentley? Yes, Bob. I'm pulling as hard as I can. Pulling? No, no, Mrs. Bentley. You should be pushed. Whoa! Oh, oh, no. Ah, so the window wasn't stuck at all. You were just pulling instead of pushing. I'm sure I can fix it. Oh, thank you, Bob. Now, if you don't mind, I better finish Bernard's dinner. It can't be that time already. Oh, I'd better hurry. Oh, boy. I hope Dad's okay on his own. And then the elephant says, I'm ever so sorry. I thought that was your trunk. <laughs> oh, Robert, I am glad I dropped in. You certainly know some good jokes. <laughs> yeah, I must tell Bobby that one later. I wonder where he's gotten to. He was only fixing up Barbara's sticky window. Oh, I'm sure he'll be here soon. Means more coffee and cookies for us, huh? <laughs> oh, thanks, Bob. I'm sorry it took so long. No problem, Mrs. Bentley. We can get going now, can't we, Bob? Yes, Scoop. It'll be getting dark soon. I have just one last little job at Mr. Beasley's yurt. Let's go! Hi, Mr. Beasley. 
sorry we're late. Oh, not to worry, Bob. I just need to get my new radio antenna. Well, that doesn't look difficult. <laughs> oh, no. It'll be easy. Uh, once you get this part attached to all the other parts, it'll be up in two waggles of a wagtail's tail. <laughs> what do you mean, all the others? Well, all the other bits of my uh, antenna, of course. I ordered it specially. Oh, no. Look at all that. It'll take ages. No, no, it'll be quick. I put a few bits of it together already. It's, um, uh, you know, it's telescopic, you see. Uh, uh, once it's all together, you, you press this and, uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! I've ripped my yurt. It's okay, Mr. Beasley. I can fix it. Oh, great. Well, I'll leave you to it, guys. That is fantastic. I'll be able to get radio programs from all over the world. No problem, Mr. Beasley. Come on, Bob. Let's go. Yes, Dad will be waiting. Bye, Mr. Beasley. So, the chimpanzee says, No, I keep it in the fruit bowl with my bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob's dad, your jokes are so funny. <laughs> Have you seen anything through your binoculars yet? Well, to be honest, Izzy, what with lunch and reading the paper and chatting with you and Mr. Bentley, I haven't really had much time to look. <sighs> Besides, I think I'd like to take a little nap before Bobby gets here. Oh, Bob's dad! <laughs> I feel awful. My dad's been waiting all afternoon. I can't believe it. I'm too late. Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. I was putting up a shelf and the whole wall fell down, and I thought the window was just stuck, and I had to redo the whole thing, and the arrow went through the yurt, and, well, well, oh, I, I really let you down. Mm -hmm. what, 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 who's that? Oh, hello, son. Just in time. Just in time? But I've left you alone all day. No, I've had a real good time. It's not often I get to put my feet up these days, being so busy in Bobsville. Everything took so long, and now it's dark. Too late for bird watching. Who says it's too late for bird watching? In fact, it looks like just the right time. There, you see? Oh, Dad, it's beautiful. And very rare, too. A bird that only comes out at night. The lesser striped sunflower warbler. I've waited my whole life to see one of these, son. That's fantastic, Dad. I'm really glad I got to see it with you. Me too, son. Me too. You couldn't help how long things took. I know you wanted to be here with me, and that's what's important. Oh, thanks, Dad. That's all right, Bobby. In fact, it's just like seeing the lesser striped sunflower warbler. Good things come to him who waits. Bob to Scoop, how's the log hunt going? Hi, Bob. We found loads of them. Nice work, team. We'll need all the wood we can get to rebuild this water mill. No problem, Bob. Over and out. Um, what do water mills do, Bob? Well, Dizzy, you see that big wheel on the side of the mill? I see it, Bob. Oh, me too. As the river flows past, it should make the wheel turn. And as it goes around, it turns a heavy flat stone that sits on top of another stone inside the mill. Oh! I get it! Millstones! That's right, Scrambler. So when you put grain between the grinding millstones, they crush it into flour. <gasps> Brilliant! Oh, uh, let's look inside! Not so fast, Izzy. I'll need to check that it's safe first. Hmm. The wooden floor's rotten. It'll all need replacing. Uh-oh. The millstone's fallen right through to the floor below. Oh. That's weird. Something wrong, Bob. I can only see one millstone. I wonder where the other one could be. Oh, oh, can I look for it, Bob? Actually, Dizzy, 
That's a good idea. The water mill won't work without it. Detective Dizzy, looking for clues. That's right, Detective Dizzy. Oh, did someone say detective? Yeah, Detective Dizzy solving the case of the missing millstone. I can help. I'm very good at finding things, you know. Well, okay, but Dizzy's in charge. Assistant Detective Spud. Aha! Spud, the assistant detective, at your service. Oh, and if you need help, Dizzy, just call in on your talkie-talkie. Roger that, Bob. Back to the yard, Scrambler. Sunflower Valley rocks! <laughs> Come on, Detective Dizzy. Let's look for clues. Oh, careful, Spud. Oh, Bob said the floor is all rotten. It isn't safe. Oh, it looks perfectly fine. Spud! Are you okay? Spud! Oh, my poor parsnip nose. Spud! Oh, well done. What for? Falling through the floor? No, silly. Finding this hole. It's our first clue. Is it? Yes. The millstone could have made this hole if it rolled out like a big wheel down the hill. Oh, yeah. Detective Dizzy is on the trail. <laughs> hey, hey, wait for me. OK, team, let's cut these old logs into planks. Can we shift them? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well done, everyone. These planks will be perfect. Let's get to the water mill. And this time, Scrambler, not so fast. <laughs> you got it, Bob. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dizzy? Uh, Detective Dizzy? Boom! <laughs> ah! oh, oh, very funny. <laughs> Sorry, Spud. <laughs> Look, I found another clue. The millstone must have rolled right through this bush and made this big gap. See? Well, maybe, maybe not. I'll bet it rolled into the river, so that means it's lost. We've got to find the millstone. I can't let Bob down. It's looking good, Bob. Thanks, Scoop. I wonder how Dizzy and Spud are getting on with their millstone mystery. Detective Dizzy, it went into the river. We'll never find it. Oh, the millstone must have made this track as it rolled along. Oh, come on! Oh, I wish I could just roll along. Oh, oh, the track has gone. I told you, the millstone rolled into the river, you, you dizzy detective. Oh, no. That's just peaches. Here! Oh, grab hold of me. I'll try and pull you out. <laughs> it's no use. I'll be stuck here forever. Oh, Spud! Oh, it's all my fault. I didn't find the millstone, and now I got you stuck in a hole. Oh, I'm really sorry. Not half as sorry as I am. Do something. You're in charge, remember? Uh, dizzy to Bob! Help! Bob, it's Dizzy! Help! Bob to Detective Dizzy. Are you okay? No! We're somewhere really muddy. Um, uh, and Spot got his foot stuck. Okay, I'm on my way. And this time, as fast as you can, Scrambler. You bet! Scram to the belly! Bob! Over here, Bob! I'm here! Yes, Spud, I can see you. Come on now. Let's get your foot free. Oh, careful, Bob. Oh, 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 I can't look. I'm only made of straw. Has it come off? Is it gone? Oh, Bob! No, Spud. 
You're fine. Ha <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I'm really sorry about the millstone, Bob. I followed a track and everything. I told you it's in the river, Dizzy. Lost forever. So this is where the track ends. Yes, but I was sure we'd find it. Hmm. Here. Here it is. Great work, Detective Dizzy. <gasps> Yes, well, I always thought it might be here, uh, if it hadn't gone in the river. No, you didn't, Assistant Detective Spud. You said it was lost forever. Now, now, you two. We have to get this millstone back to the watermill. Are you ready, Scoop? Can I shift it? <laughs> oh. No, you can't. Sorry, Bob. Never mind, Scoop. It must be the extra weight of the millstone. You'll have to put it down. Oh, I wonder how they got it to the mill when they built it. Well, back in those days, they didn't have machines like you, Scoop. They had to transport things in different ways. Aha! Uh -huh. Of course. Bob DeMuck, do you have any logs left? Over. Okay, Muck and Scoop, push. Uh, but nice and easy now. Now put that at the front, Scoop. Oh, yeah! That's amazing! Oh, that's really <laughs> it's a bit slow, isn't it? Spud! Sorry. And uh, a push! Everyone. Whoa, yippee! Yay! But we still got to rebuild the water wheel and put the millstones into place. Oh, can we go now? Oh, I'm starving. Yes, bud. We can go now. Come on, everyone. We've got another big day tomorrow. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Farmer Pickles? What's that feathery thing for, Bob? It's for spring cleaning. I've been busy all morning. Oh, yes. Very neat and tidy, Bob. Now, I was wondering if you'd lend a hand with the sunflower harvest. Lead the way. Shoo! 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 Oh, no. Is that squawk? What are you doing in Sunflower Valley? Come to steal Farmer Pickle's sunflower seeds? Oh, no, you don't. Ah. Scarecrow Spud is on the job. Ah. Shoot! <laughs> and you! Shoot! And you too! Oh, no! Look at all the crows! Oh, they smell my ripe sunflower seeds from miles ah. off. They'd do anything to eat them. Not easy stopping them, is it, Spud? Oh, brother! We need to start the harvest. And soon. Yes! Let's harvest the sunflowers and Squawk and his friends won't be able to gobble them then. Uh, come on, you lot. Spud's in charge. Hold on, Spud. First, Bob's got to build a silo. A silo? What's a silo? It's a special building for storing sunflowers when they've been harvested. A big shed, really. Can't start a harvest without one. Don't worry, Farmer Pickles. The building materials have already started arriving at the site. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Go away! Shoo! Shoo! Okay, team. You dig some foundations, please, Scoop. No prob, Bob. And Dizzy, can you mix up some cement? Coming right up, Bob! Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, Travis and Lofty. This is going to be a really big silo. Spot the harvesters on the job. Ah, might need 
some help. Careful, Lofty. Easy does it. There. Well done. Oh, thanks, Bob. Now, what's next? But, but Farmer Pickle said you shouldn't start a harvest unless you've built a silo first. Oh, it won't take them long to build it. It's just a big shed. One field of sunflowers rescued by Spud the Harvester. Uh, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Oh, no! Shoo! Shoo! You see, you're supposed to build the silo first, because otherwise you don't have anywhere safe to put what you've harvested. Shoo! I knew that! Shoo! Shoo! Did you? Shoo! Of course! That's why we're taking these sunflowers to Farmer Pickle's silo right away! Shoo! It'll be finished now! Will it? Just like I planned! Let's load up! You know, Farmer Pickles, this silo is a lot more than just a big shed. Oh, you're not wrong there, Bob. Not many sheds have a cooling system. That's to keep the flowers at just the right temperature. Then there's the loading device. Mmm, so the flowers don't get damaged when we take them in and out. But we're not even ready for those things, are we, team? Roger that, Bob! First, we need to get the walls on. Here we go, Bob! You're doing a great job, Lofty. It's taking kind of longer than we thought. Good thing we didn't start the harvest, huh? Oh, I haven't finished. <laughs> Quick, Travis, scram! There's even more birds now. That silo can't be the only safe place in Sunflower Valley. There's got to be somewhere else. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. I'll store them in here. Won't Bob mind? He spent all morning spring cleaning. Stop worrying, Travis. Bob won't even know they're in there. Whew. Well done, Lofty. How's the cooling system coming on, Farmer Pickles? Oh, temperature gauge could do a little fine tuning. I'll need my special mini screwdriver set for this. It's back in my trailer. Well, let's go and get it. We could have some coffee at the same time. Let's all take a break. We've been working very hard. Oh, oh you're right, Bob. Yeah. Oh, a nice break. <laughs> Done. The sunflowers are safe, thanks to Spud. Farmer Pickles will be pleased. Oh, no, Spud. Look, the birds. I'll chase them out! No! Let me in! Let me in! Oh, no! Bob's mobile home is really a mess. And I only oh. up this morning. What's going on, Spud? I don't believe it. Well, I never. Spud! I'm sorry, Bob. Sorry, Farmer Pickles. I was trying to rescue the sunflowers from Squawk. Rescue them? You're feeding them to him and his friends. Oh, didn't I say never start a harvest till you've got somewhere safe to put it? Which doesn't mean my mobile home. Oh. Good thing I have a spare key. Whoa! Oh, no. You all right, Bob? They haven't all been damaged. Let's sort them out. Shoo, Squawk! Stop eating the seeds! Oh, it's too horrible to watch. That's why I started harvesting Farmer Pickles. I'm sorry it all went wrong. Oh, Spud. Shoo! You must learn to listen to what people tell you. Go away. We've all got to shoo. Work together in Sunflower Valley. Work together. Hmm. Shoo, birdies. Shoo for me too. And for me, boo. <laughs> Over here, Dizzy. Okay, Spud. Boo. Squawk. Boo. Working together. 
what Sunflower Valley is all about. Especially if I'm in charge. Let's go over to the silo team. Ready when you are, Bob. Bird scarers, follow me. Shoot! There we go. Safely stored in the silo until the Sunflower Oil Factory needs them. Temperature's just right. Oh, they'll be nice and cozy. It's almost as comfortable as their own mobile home. <laughs> did you get that? The mobile home? <laughs> Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do see what you mean, Farmer Pickles. What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I think the silo's great, but I know someone who doesn't. Who's that? Squawk! <laughs> <laughs> but when Squawk, not when Spud, the harvesters of 